What's going on, brothers and sisters? It's your boy, Brother Harold. Uh, I decided to do this tonight in a part in a podcast type of way concerning um, a question that came to me a couple of days ago um, about church church growth. How do you know if you're growing, and how do you know if your church church is growing? The church where you at? How do you know if you're growing? Um, but I was reading in Acts 2 and 47 where it was talking about how God, through God's word, how God added to the church, added the number to the church as he see, as he saw fit at the time because of the apostles. They was doing the will of the Father, doing what they was called to do, and God was the one adding to the church. But brothers and sisters, I'm going to get right to it. Um there are seven things that I'm gonna point out tonight on this podcast concerning church growth, um, and to know if you, you it's the church where you at, you know, if you're growing or not. Um, I guess you can call them red flags, so to speak. If you look around and see, um, see where you at. Number one, if you look around in your church and see that. There's just a few people there, and you can fit all them people on one side of the church in the sanctuary. Or better yet, you uh, you got enough people there, you can shut down the sanctuary and put them all in the back in a Sunday school class and have church. Then, And it's been that way for about a year or more. Then that's a sign that, that your church is not growing. Number two. If your choir is singing the same old songs that they always have sung um, for the last year or so, um, then that's a sign that church not that you're not growing. Because um, the Bible speaks of God giving us a new song, putting a new song in our heart. So, brothers and sisters, we're supposed to be learning new songs, and we're not repeating the same old song expecting the same old outcome and the same move in the spirit based on the songs that we sing. Number three, if your pastor is preaching the same watered down message um that he was preaching last year, um one plus one equals two, um, yes Jesus loves me. Okay, we know that. Um the question may be now uh, what's next? I know he loved me. Now what? Um, and if there's no vision, no fresh revelation, just a lot of repetitions and things repeating itself, um, too much milk with no meat will always shorten up a child's growth. So, brothers and sisters, if that's taking place, then that's another way to know that the church not growing and you're not growing. Because if you're pastor, if you're not causing your pastor to want to study and pull out new revelation, um, then that's a sign that you're definitely not growing if you're still sitting there. Number four, if your church do the same thing every year when holidays roll around, um, nothing new, same plays, same programs, singing the same songs, nothing new. Um, um, having revivals, the same meeting, the same time every year, same preacher come coming, doing the same revival. That's a sign that your church not growing. Um, by uh, by 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 seeing that because you're repeating the same thing. And that's where we get the word tradition. And that's what Jesus was saying about tradition of men. Because when you look up the word tradition, it simply means to repeat yourself. Mean, meaning you're in a circle, you're doing the same thing. There's no growth in that. Number five. Um, if it's been, if you've been there a year or so and have not seen no new faces um, or no one to join the church, um, no new faces. I'm talking when I talk about new faces. I'm talking about uh, uh, other nationalities. I'm talking about black, white, Asian. I mean, all kind, all kind of creed of people. 
that means that the word, if you, and, and, and see, if a church is reaching out and the word is reaching out and touching people's lives, then you'll have these things happening in the church. People will be growing based on your relationship with God and everything. So if these things are not taking place in, in your church and if God not adding to your church, then there's a sign that uh, may not be a church. It may just be a fellowship club, a club or something. Because God's church is universal. It's meant for all people. And we need to reach out to all people. Number six. <clears throat> if you check. And, 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 if you check. If your church is a group of small people. That feels like they love God. But don't want to be seen by everybody else. Keep everything as a secret. You know, um, always talking about they pastor, um, know the word, and um, and they don't care about growing outside of the walls, and they keep it to themselves, saying that they deep in the word. Brother and sister, that's a sign that they deep asleep. And also, that's that's not the church. That's a cult. So those are the things, you, that's some of the things you need to look at. I mean, you want to keep everything secret, like you got something don't nobody else have. Okay, number seven. Now, I'm not saying all these things, brothers and sisters, because I think you should have a lot. I'm not saying these things because I think you should have a lot of people in your church. Because you can have a lot of people in the church and still don't make you the church. That don't mean that your church is growing. I'm talking about growing in your heart, bearing fruit, becoming a church yourself. That you can reach out to others to know God through your life, brothers and sisters. That's what I'm talking about. These are just a few of my thoughts and opinions um, that I want to put out there that I have experienced through to uh, through my inventory of ministry as you know, as long as I've been in ministry. These are some of the things I have seen and judged my growth. That, that, but just know, brothers and sisters, that. Growing is, is a forever thing. We will continue to grow even when we get to where we're going and everything. So, like I said, these are just my opinions and how I feel about certain things based on where I'm at and what I've been through in ministry. So, with that, that's the end of my podcast. You know, I hope y'all have a blessed night. Um, it's your boy, Brother Harold. And y'all be, bre- be blessed, you know. Check out where you are. See as you're growing and everything. Shalom, shalom.